Community members and plane spotters from our network have confirmed that Poland's PZL Mielets, a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin, has successfully delivered another batch of five Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk helicopters for the Philippine Air Force PAF. The helicopters arrived in the country aboard the Antonov and 124 Ruslan, a civilian strategic airlifter, which piqued the interest of aviation enthusiasts in recent days. Upon further investigation, with help from members of our community, it was revealed that the delivery included more than just combat utility helicopters. Surprisingly, two out of the five helicopters are bound for the 250th Presidential Airlift Wing, with the remaining three designated for the 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing as standard combat utility helicopters. This revelation has sparked discussions among defense observers, as it sheds light on the recent adjustments made to the Philippine Air Force's acquisition plans. The transfer of two Black Hawks to the 250th Presidential Airlift Wing is particularly noteworthy, as it indicates a shift in strategy regarding the acquisition of helicopters for VIP transport. The PAF had previously outlined plans to procure four new VVIP helicopters under the Command and Control Intermediate Medium Lift Helicopter acquisition project, which was aimed at replacing the aging fleet of Bell 412 EP helicopters that were acquired during the early 1990s under the administration of President Fidel V. Ramos. These Bell 412 EP helicopters have served the country for decades, and the plan was to retire and replace them with a new, modern fleet of medium-lift helicopters capable of both VIP transport and command and control missions. However, with the recent arrival of the S-70I Black Hawks, it appears that the original plan to procure dedicated VVIP helicopters has been scrapped or at least postponed. Sources speculate that the Philippine Air Force has opted to repurpose some of its S-70I Black Hawks, converting them from standard combat utility helicopters to specialized command and control helicopters for VIP use. This change could be part of a cost-saving strategy, leveraging the flexibility of the Black Hawk platform to meet both military and government transport requirements. The decision to shift away from the dedicated VVIP helicopter acquisition aligns with the removal of the Command and Control Intermediate Medium Lift Helicopter project from the ReHorizon 3 plan. ReHorizon 3 is part of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Modernization Roadmap for 2023-2028, focusing on enhancing the country's defense capabilities. The scrapping of this project in favor of converting existing assets is likely an attempt to streamline costs while ensuring that the 250th Presidential Airlift Wing still receives advanced helicopter platforms capable of fulfilling their mission. This development highlights the versatility of the Black Hawk helicopters, as they can be configured for a wide range of missions, from combat utility to command and control, medical evacuation, and VIP transport. The Philippine Air Force has increasingly relied on the S-70I Black Hawk to bolster its operational capabilities, with the total number of Black Hawks in service steadily rising as new deliveries arrive. With these two newly arrived helicopters joining the Presidential Airlift Wing, the PAF's fleet of modern utility helicopters continues to grow, allowing for more efficient transport and support missions. As the country faces an evolving security landscape, the Black Hawk's adaptability provides the Philippines with a robust, multi-role platform that can quickly respond to a wide range of situations, whether it be disaster response, military operations, or executive transport. This news also raises questions about the fate of the remaining Bell 412 EP helicopters still in service. It remains to be seen whether these aging aircraft will be phased out completely or kept in reserve for secondary roles within the PAF. As the Philippine Air Force continues to modernize its aviation assets, the arrival of these new Black Hawk helicopters marks yet another milestone in its efforts to strengthen national defense and executive transport capabilities. The growing fleet of Black Hawks will likely play an increasingly important role in the country's defense posture in the years to come.